So, it's with a heavy heart that I make this next decision. I would like to ask my partner, my best friend, Zach Rowe, to come down to the trampoline ring right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am just as confused as you are. I'm sure Zach is very confused as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this following match is for the JTW Intercontinental Championship. Giant are going to defend his Intercontinental Championship against Zach Rowe right here tonight. He's laid down for Zach Rowe. No, what are you doing? One, two, three. And he completely dominated everyone in his path. Absolutely everyone. The 25th of September 2019, he demolished El Jantonio, sending him into a part-time retirement. Yes, he may be out of that now, but at the time, Zach beat him so bad, he questioned whether he could even do this anymore. On the 6th of October, he absolutely destroyed the panda. On the 29th of October for the Halloween special, in one gauntlet, Defending this 24-7 and Intercontinental Championship, Zach beat Demon, Werewolf, and Jason Voorhees. He took on a devil, a wolf, and an absolutely supernatural creature, and he beat all three. On the 4th of March 2020, he beat El Antonio's best friend, Malasalto. After that, JD Bailey on the 1st of April. And then finally, Bad B on the 8th of April. And then there was episode 7 with Jax Sykes. Screaming for him. Now Jack Sykes grabbing Zack and just pushing his head, bouncing off of the post. Spear by Zack, no! Zack Rowe just dived head first into the ring post. That could be a concussion. Jack's calling him up again. Psych out! The psych out by Jack Sykes! And another psychic connected! Cover him! One, two, three! Oh no, Jack Sykes, you better be careful what you're doing! Think about this man, he's got a steel chair on the trampoline! He's putting Zach's row ankles in the steel chair! Oh my god! Zach's row's ankle just got broken in two! Jack Sykes just broke Zach Rowe's ankle in the middle of the trampoline. ring. Get that son of a bitch. He's not getting away with this. I promise you, he's not getting away with this. The day of losing my title, I was laying in the hospital bed. And Joe was with me. And I asked him to pass me my phone. And I put I put out on Instagram. Just a black screen. And I said something like, this is far from over, and you have no idea what will return to JTW. And that is 100% true. This is far from over, Jax. And I don't know, no one knows what will return to JTW. not being able to do anything so hard I used to be a really active guy I used to go to work and that's a physically demanding job I did kickboxing I obviously wrestled I've got a trampoline outside which I train on I used to do workouts, I used to go for runs, I, I used to take my dog out on walks, bike rides. 
all of that stuff and I can't do it anymore and it's so mentally draining just being stuck inside all the time I don't know how I'm going to get through these next six, seven weeks. Everyone's been so supportive and I'm so thankful for it. And my family, my girlfriend, Joe. But I just can't reply to Joe. I just can't. After he left the, hosp after he left the hospital that day, I haven't been able to speak to him since. And let me tell you why. I lost the championship which was gifted to me. My best friend gave me his championship which he earned because he thought that I could defend it posterize it broadcast it to a mainstream level and I lost it I I almost feel like I let Joe down hey everyone um, two weeks since the incident um, the last thing that you guys saw was me one week after the incident and I just wanted to say um, that it's still just as hard. This injury has been, has become such a barrier in my life at the moment. I'm a guy that likes to do the most I can for the people that I care about but with this injury I simply can't, and it's still really bad, it almost feels like it's getting worse, I'm losing sleep, like I said I can't do anything, but I want you guys to know that I wanted this documentary to be as captivating and as interesting as possible, but through the earlier stages of this injury, this is all I can do. It's just talk to you guys and I hope you guys can understand that and recognise that. I don't want you guys to see me struggling. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of it because that's part of the journey, but I don't want you guys to see too much. But yeah, man, it was all I could do from, I think, the second to the fourth week. On the beginning of the fourth week, all I could do was play my PlayStation and watch old matches like John Cena versus Roman Reigns at No Mercy and just things to take my mind off of the injury. That really helped. It's now been four weeks since my injury on the 15th of April. I said to myself that I would be as personal, as up close, and as consistent with filming this as possible. But the fact of the matter is, after I've filmed what you just saw, I was too mentally drained, I was too down, I, and I don't want you guys to see that. You saw a glimpse, but I didn't want you to see any more. What I want you to see is my recovery, my retribution, my rehabilitation, and finally my success. I wanted this recovery to be completely natural. And that's why I'm kind of thankful for the current lockdown situation. It's given me all the more time to prepare to build myself into something else, to change, to transform. Because I'm finding that day by day, I'm growing angrier and angrier with this injury. I can now, I can now almost walk a lot easier than I could. Like I said, I couldn't walk at all one week in. 
And now I am walking. Very short distances. But I'm walking. Some of you may have noticed that I have been completely silent since my injury. I haven't been replying to any comments on my on the YouTube channel. I haven't been replying to any of you on Instagram. And that's because I want to stay completely radio silent. Apart from this documentary that you're all going to see eventually, none of you have heard anything from me. Not even Joe. I haven't spoken to Joe. I explained why. And I still feel that way. So Joe, when you see this, just know that I've been missing you, bro. And I'm going to get your title back. Our title back. Hello there. As you can see, I may look like a bit of an idiot about to do this because I've got my different sock on to this leg, but I've got my ankle support under there. It's currently five, four and a half or five weeks since the incident, um, and I'm about to go on my first proper walkish. My brother's behind the camera, so I'm sorry if the filming's a bit shoddy. Um, but yeah, let's just see how this goes. So, this walk that I just done typically takes around 10 minutes. And how long do you reckon we've been out? Well, like half an hour just to get here. Yeah. Mate. Yeah, man, I've just been doing stretches and little exercises for the ankle. And it's definitely helped. I miss it. But waking up to the trampoline every morning and just ha having it be out there and me not be able to go on it sucks. But I know for sure that I'm going to go on there very soon and do some bumps, start from the basics, start with some rolls. Maybe do a couple of lockups, eh? What do you think? Do a couple of lockups with me? The best in the business? The best JTW has to offer. What do you reckon? Okay. You want to do it? All right. All right. So I reckon I'm just going to sit here and just embrace it like a sad old man for like five minutes. And then I'm going to go home or attempt to, to go home. Um, if you look around us, uh, this is going to be my, my training grounds for the next few weeks so I'm literally going to have to come in here and work with what I can to try and strengthen up this ankle and strengthen myself up because as you all know um, the Zach Rowe which left JTW is not going to be the same one that returns um, but yeah so I think we'll start making our way back now shall we This is my first time uh, out walking the dog in uh, I'd say around four. Nah, I think I think it's five weeks. Uh, don't worry, she has been getting walked, uh, just not by me. It's really good to be out. Um, obviously, I'm still walking with a hit, with a limp and things like that, um, but I'm walking. It's these little activities and walking for me that do it, that do the ankle a lot of good, um, because I'm not putting too much strain on it, but I'm strengthening it. Uh, I'm strengthening it at the same time, um, and for me, that's really critical because I want to aid it as much as possible and not inhibit the growth process 
in any way. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure if you can see my dog up there. Up. Her name's Cassie. She's a border collie cross. And she is not bothered at all by this. Oh yeah. Hey pup. In the coming days. I don't know if you can see my dog bopping around in there. But uh, in the coming days, I think I'll be able to go back onto the trampoline, which I'm so excited for, to do some bumps, do some rolls. Um, I'm a bit nervous about the rolls, because obviously on some of them I'm going to have to get up on the right foot. Um, but so far so good uh, in terms of the ankle and walking this far. So I'm excited, I'm really excited. Um, things are looking up, finally. I just thought I'd take this time to perhaps answer some of the questions that you guys might have. So some of you might be thinking, oh, where's your crutches? I ditched the crutches a long, long while ago. Uh, purely because I don't like them, they're impractical. My house isn't built for someone with crutches. Uh, it's not, it was just annoying me. Um, I just tended to sit down more. Some of you may also be wondering, Zach, we haven't seen your ankle. So you guys won't be able to see much, but uh, this, is, this is the dodgy ankle. Yeah, so the ankle support is that white bit there just underneath my trousers. Some of you, rightfully so, would be thinking that's just a sock. Um, and you're right. There is a sock there, <laughs> just underneath. Um, but yeah, there is a support there, I'm not stupid. I did say that I don't like help, uh, but I'm not walking this far without a support, in my eyes, is stupid. Uh, it would be ludicrous of me to walk all this way um, without an ankle Alright guys, support. so, sorry about uh, Madam. But I just thought I'd sit down and kind of embrace this as it's the first time I've been out in so damn long. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a nice evening, a quiet evening. It's not windy, it's not raining. I've had to start eating better uh, as I'm becoming more active. Uh, I can't just solely rely on my activity uh, to get me back into better shape. Um, because it simply wouldn't be enough. So I'm now on a diet of like fish, chicken uh, for the lower calories and the higher proteins, a lot of greens, they give you uh, a lot of fruits and veg for their energy and uh, of course the, the odd like little, little sugary treat here and there but I try to keep those to a minimum. Yeah um, it's good to be out, it's definitely good to be out and I will be coming out much more um, as much as possible or as much as I think I'm as much as I think the ankle is capable of uh, like I said there's no issues at the moment and I've walked for about half an hour for about half an hour so it's good, it's good there she is hiya fuck here you go Say hello to the viewers, huh? Poor. Oh, no. oh, ah. So guys, I'm on my way back now uh, after just brawling with my dog. Yeah, man. Chuffed. I, I am chuffed for that, I'm excited. Finally things are starting to look up. Damn, look at my glow. Look at my glow. Oh, I finally had my IC Championship there. The gold will be glowing right now. But once again, country boy coming out. Look at the field, man. It's just a field, it's nothing exciting. But yeah, hopefully a few more weeks of this and I should be pretty much good to go. All right, guys, so it's quite late outside. As you can tell, it's pretty much pitch black. Um, but yeah, I've got to, I've got to go ahead and try and exercise this ankle. Um, it's been a bit, uh, it's not been as good today, but um, 
yeah, I feel like some I feel like some uh, small exercises and stretches and a bit of a massage will help it out. Hopefully, but we'll see how it goes. Under here, I've got small ankle support that straps from down there around the back and up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see the outline of it or not. Um, yeah, so literally, guys, just doing things like this and. circular motions do a lot of good ow, don't know if you heard that obviously this isn't around the ankle but uh, I'm just going to do the foot as a whole um, purely because why not I just have to be a bit more tedious around the ankle Yeah, some of these motions and things may look a bit weird. They do, don't worry. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I just hope that it's better tomorrow because I really don't want there to be any more days like today because I don't know, I just feel like it's been kind of worse today. Hello, my name is Joe Anthony and at the time of this recording I am the current YouTube promo champion, as well as the JTW World Heavyweight Champion. Let's get right into this interview, shall we? Wow. Um, I mean, me and Zach go back years now. And we were in school together, but we both always wanted to do this. We put each other through the wars. We've been on the same side, we've been against each other, we've fought for championships, we've fought for bragging rights, but at the end of the day, we've always come back to each other. No matter what happens, we're always going to end up back together um, as allies. We've had championship matches, he's beat me for titles, I've beat him for titles. I was the last person he eliminated to win the one and only JTW Rivalry Rumble and you know it's it's one of them questions i can't dive into it because we genuinely don't have enough time just me and zach have always been together i can only look forward to the future but this one was quite simple really when you have one guy on top the whole time that's when people lose interest so I, you know, I was doing Anthony's Open Challenge. It was successful. People loved it. But I myself was getting bored of just seeing me on top. I didn't just want to be the guy anymore. I wanted there to be competition with me. So that's when I made this, the decision. You know what? How about I give the championship to Zach? He's been loyal to me throughout this whole time. He never once even considered turning on me to get the championship. But the whole time I knew he wanted the championship. It wasn't jealousy. He was happy for me. But you could tell that being happy for someone only goes so far. I knew that he once again wanted to be a champion in JTW. So I gave him that opportunity. And he ran with it. Absolutely ran with it. That's why I made him the Intercontinental Champion. Because I knew he would be a success. Absolutely. I wouldn't have made such a drastic decision if I didn't. 
And I remember at the time when I laid down for Zach, everyone in the comment section was saying, why Joe, why? And here's the thing, when you're into the wrestling industry, when you're becoming uh, a mind in the wrestling industry, you have to think like a promoter. WWE make decisions sometimes, New Japan make decisions sometimes, AEW, all of the big companies, they make decisions which make people go, why? But then as the story unfolds, it all adds up. Everyone was asking, why Joe? Why'd you do it? Look at the views on the Zach Rowe Open Challenge. They have surpassed Anthony's Open Challenge. They always get more views and that is perfect. That's exactly what I want because it means that the viewers are attaching themselves to something new. It means that Zach as champion was doing his job right. And he completely dominated everyone in his path. Absolutely everyone. Did he live up to expectations? You're damn right. absolutely everything. Do you honestly think I could have done this by myself? No. At the age of 15 years old, when I decided to start doing this, to start doing this publicly, I had no one except Zach. Zach stood by me. Yes, we fought over championships. Yes, we despised each other. But without having someone to wrestle, there could have been no JTW. It takes two to tango. Zach means everything to me. He means everything to this promotion. People have come, people have gone, but there's been one constant throughout this, these years, and it's Joe Anthony and Zach Rowe are the pioneers. We're the ones that built this, and eventually, if it does all end, we will be the ones to end it. Words cannot describe how much that means to this promotion. Well, it's one of the toughest we have, that's for certain. A powerhouse, an absolute powerhouse. Zach is a very, very strong guy. He's the strongest we have. We all specialize in our different departments. But Zach is the one that when you get into the trampoline with him, if he catches you, you're done. You are done. He's an absolute powerhouse. He is a beast. Words cannot describe what it feels like to be in a match with Zach. It's tension. It's drama. It's raw power. As a wrestler, He's one of the best we have. An injury like that does something to a man. Zach, in his mind, will feel like he had his manhood stripped away in front of everyone. To have his ankle snapped in two by Jack Sykes in front of everyone, in front of the JTW audience, everyone watching at home. I can't describe that as any other feeling than humiliating. I've messaged Zach. I've messaged him to no success. I've reached out. I haven't heard anything from him. He has stayed radio silent. He hasn't spoken to anyone. He hasn't posted anything. The time's coming up. His ankle should be nearly healed. He should soon, within the coming weeks, maybe a couple months at the most, he'll be ready. I hope Zach comes back bigger, stronger, faster and better than ever so he can reclaim his JTW Intercontinental Championship. I believe that if the time is right, 
and it's in the right circumstances, yes. Me and Zach will probably have another match one day. You know, me and Zach make sure we lay it all on the line every time we can. And each time we have a match, we get better. So I don't know when, I don't know where, I don't know how. But I'm sure that one day in the future, Zach and I will lock horns once again. Put it this way, I wouldn't want to be Jack Sykes. He wants your head on a stick. You better be ready, you better be doing everything in your power you can to hold on to that championship. It's bad enough that you're going to have to deal with me first. But then, Jack Sykes, you are going to have to go through Zack. A rehabilitated Zack. A Zack at his best. A Zack at a 100 percent ready to come back for his intercontinental championship what do i think zach will do to him i think zach will kill him i think zach will end his career at jtw and if he doesn't then jack sykes you're never going to be the same after this match be ready at least as ready as you can be. All right, guys, so I'm on it. This feels really strange and alien. I haven't been on it, like I say, in six weeks. I'm almost... I feel like I should be really optimistic about this, but I'm almost um, nervous. Uh, the camera will be wobbly, though, because Luke's on here with me. Um, and obviously me moving on the trampoline is going to make him move. So, yeah, um, just try and keep the camera on me. Yeah. Oh, oh, man, I'm really nervous for this. Okay, I'm just going to start my small walk. Everything's all right. Speed it up a bit. Okay, everything's still good. And then some scything. Oh, I'm still nervous, man. I'm still nervous. All right, I think I should start by doing some rolls. So if you want to literally just do some forward rolls and get back into the mix of things. Alright guys, so I feel like it's time to go on to some bumps So Again, this is the first time I'm bumping in like Six weeks So uh, I might have some ring rust again But uh, we'll, we'll see We'll start off low and then we'll like work our way up The bumps seem to be good, stepping up from the bumps seem to be even better. So I'm just going to go higher and higher with the bumps. Okay. Now I'm going to just try a larger bump. As you all saw there, I kind of worked up in heights. So now I'm just going to try uh, a jumping one. So. That was... That brought back memories for sure. <laughs> all right. The ankle feels good and I'm bouncing around. So are you, by the looks of things. Keep that camera still as you can. So yeah, I'll just try a couple of bigger bumps. Alright. Alright. Bumps are good, officially. Bumps are good. Landing on the ankle is good. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna do some rolls. Um, obviously, I did the forward rolls and the backward rolls, but I didn't step up from them, and that uses a lot of strength 
in whatever ankle I'm stepping through with. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm a bit nervous, but I've got to do it. I've got to know where my boundaries are and so forth. So. Roll through seems to be good. I feel good. I feel good, surprisingly good. Almost weirdly good. I'm definitely not in as good shape as I was before. But this is definitely a start. And a damn good one at that. So, yeah, I want to try a swan time. Just for some weird reason. That one was good. That one was good. I like that one. It's good. Bah, bah. Bah, bah. Bah. Block ups. Bah. Feels so weird, man. Drug gets me in this hard. Bah. I haven't done a Superman in a while. I want to try that. Oh, I don't know. Oh, ah, ah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Well, this was a good taster to be back, but I don't want to push anything for today. So, yeah, I shall see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. I'm here. I'm at work. Uh, I'm finally back. Um, I feel like I could, I could have come back a little bit earlier, but I really didn't want to rush the recovery of the injury. So, yeah, today's my first day back. Uh, it's going well so far. Uh, there's no issues with the ankle. It all feels strong. So, yeah, we'll see how it feels as the day goes on. Alright guys, so I think the first delivery has just arrived. Let's have a look. Yep, look. There they are. Let's see how I'll deal with it. That's a lot of stock. Next is to check off all of this. <sighs> Alright, well, let's begin. Alright, guys, so it's all ticked off. So now I just have to unload it all by hand. Everything's all good at the moment. Feels comfortable, doesn't feel strained, so I think I'm in the clear.
about halfway through the day. It's about 1 p.m. I've loaded up the delivery drivers. I've unloaded the lorry. Um, and he bought uh, three tons, I think it was. Um, so I've got to unload that soon. But yeah, uh, the ankle's doing well. So I'm, I'm really happy because I was nervous. You know, of course I was nervous. It's my first day back. Um, and I didn't want anything to go wrong. And nothing has so far. So I genuinely think that in the coming weeks, I'm going to be better than ever. Um, and I can start training properly. Alright guys, so um, that's my first day at work done and it went well, it went well, um, quite a heavy day, a lot of heavy lifting, um, I didn't film too much of it, um, but I just thought I'd give you guys uh, a little a little peek into what I do for my job, um, but yeah it was good, the ankle still feels fine, I've just had a shower, uh, massaged it a little and everything is all good, so I'm very close, very close to becoming I see champ once again. I'm sorry I haven't picked up the camera in a little while. Ten weeks in. This is this is the best I've ever felt. Um, and I just came out here to the training grounds, which I mentioned earlier, to get a sweat on and to really uh, re-prepare myself because I feel like. My match with Jax is getting closer and closer by the day. And I feel like any time now, any time, we could go to war. So I'm just keeping an eye out and I'm preparing myself. From eight weeks or so, I've been uh, really, ex I've been really trying to do as much exercising as possible. Obviously, work is helping me out massively because uh, that's a lot of heavy lifting and a lot of moving around. So that's good. That. Uh, that almost uh, almost built up the ankle to strength that it is now um, and I'm just going to put it through its paces today 
this is the tenth week and I'm feeling up to it. At no point am I overlooking the fact that this ankle is broken. I still always need to take complete care whilst I'm training. I have to know my limits, I have to know my boundaries. But the only thing is I have to train to know those boundaries, to get to know those boundaries again. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see in a couple of days, we'll come back. We'll come back and we'll see how I feel. Hi guys, I'm, uh, I'm back. I'm back in the training grounds, the woods. Um, personally for me, these are the best places for me to train. It's secluded, it's quiet, and I can, I can really get into my zone, but, you know what it is, it's another day working towards Jack Sykes, it's another day to my redemption. Let's get it.
another day back, another day done. Today was a lot more heavy, literally. Uh, I've got grubby hands, work hands. You know how it is. We push and we succeed. As you all know, this is where I started this documentary. So I thought it's only fitting that this is pretty much where I finish it. I am at 100%. I am the quickest, I am the strongest, I am. I have the most endurance that I have ever had before. Now, as I mentioned, when I first got this injury, the, the Zach that left JTW would not be the same one that returned. And that's true. I am completely different. It's like I've been rewired. It's like my DNA has been completely cosmetically changed. Jax, you know what I want. And you will give me what I want. I want a match with you for my JTW Intercontinental Championship. But here's where things get interesting, ladies and gentlemen. You put out a video on one of your social media pages saying that you were sorry not that you were sorry because you caused me a major injury you were sorry that you didn't break my neck you said that you were sorry that you didn't end my career and you also said that you will do that the next time that we compete Jax, I want to inform you that you are a foolish, foolish boy. There's no way you're ending my career. I'm going to come back. Broken ankle or not. You can target this ankle all you want. It's not going to make a difference. Either way, Jax Sykes, I'm going to come out on top. And that is why, Jax Sykes, I hereby issue you to an I quit match. That's right. I issue you to one of the most barbaric matches in all of sports entertainment. A match for no ordinary men. And you're a bit twisted up here, so it will suit you. But you're dealing with a beast. You're dealing with an animal, and that's why it suits me. And Jax, let me tell you this right now, before we get things down, and before we throw down, and before we get our hands dirty. Jack Sykes, you will never... Make me say the words, I quit. That's not a prediction. It's not a spoiler. That's a promise. I want you to look deep into my eyes right now, Jax. Deep into my eyes. What? Tell me what you see. Because I can tell you what I see. I know you're watching this. I can see a scared, scared young man. Who doesn't know what he's got himself into. I made a promise to you, Jax. I think I even mentioned it in this documentary. Or in a video somewhere. 
You made me go to the hospital with a broken bone. You cost me months of my career. So this time, I'm going to send you to the hospital. But not with just one broken bone. I'm going to shatter you, Jax. I'm going to crack your spine over my knee. I'm going to grind you up. I'm going to spit you out. You're dirt to me. You're nothing. You always have been. You always will be. I'm not sure anyone can compete with the level that I am now. Never mind some little punk like you. So, Jax, if you're man enough, step up. Let's show the people who the superior wrestler is.